Honestly, I think you're an escort. Wow, judge much? I don't know, man. I've seen you do some pretty freaky shit. All right, then how many eggplants would you say you've seen in your lifetime, approximately? 22 and a half thousand, ballpark. Yeah, you're definitely an escort. Yeah, 1,000 percent, yeah. It's that time again where we get to play the guessing game more appropriately. What I mean is we get to judge strangers on the internet. For instance, let's get a bunch of randos in a room together and they'll take one look at each other and guess if they're into providing sexual services for a living. Thank you, Chelsea, for this wonderful email recommendation. This is from a channel called Cut, uh, which must be brand new, I think. <laughs> Anyways, let's find out who likes to bone for money. I think that you're a stripper. That's what you see? I can see that. Right now, I mean, you're just a, you know, a, a nicely dressed person. This is going fucking horribly. <laughs> My man came out swinging. I mean, there's nothing to suggest that this girl's in the industry. My guess is that he had a bachelor party at Kittens a weekend or two ago and he recognized mm -hmm. her ankles. This is going fucking horribly. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Rain. My name is Craig. And I'm a, currently I'm a bartender. My man. I started man. a profit that provides services Respect. and training and workshops to sex workers. Here you go. So you teach sex. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to be guessing if someone's a sex worker or not. Okay, I'm taking a swing at my first blind judgment of this video. But this man here has seen more sausage than a Brooklyn deli. Are you in sex work? Oh, I absolutely am. Most For the win! Swish. I think typically people probably frown upon you telling them directly to their face that like, yeah, you look like you do things with no. penises for a living. Come on. That was the first thing I used to do when I was bartending. Every time a cute girl would come in, I'd be like, you are, you're a stripper, aren't you? And they'd be like, no, stop it. And I'd be like, nah, you are, you are. And eventually they'd always be like, ah, you got me. I am, I do, I'm in, I actually am an escort too. This is just how the world works now. I don't make the rules. Most people know me for stripping and I do a lot of other sex work that uh, requires a lot more money per hour. Have you done any form of sex work? Interesting. <laughs> Who's gonna pay for this, man? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Do not shortchange yourself, bro. There are entire communities on the internet dedicated to chubby chasing. I'm not kidding, man. I've seen enough weird shit in my years making YouTube videos. You're like a snack compared to some of the shit that's going on out there. Hi, Selena. Selena? Mm hmm Okay, I'm Craig. Craig, nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to figure out. If Just so we're clear, this is my actual first time watching through this video, so my guesses are pure. I'm going with 100% no on this chick. No sex worker goes, <laughs> You clearly just like waft in with this like beautiful bubble of joy. As a sex worker, joy is kind of like central to me. <laughs> this is an OnlyFans hmm. person. I think that you're a stripper. That's what you see? I can see that. Right now, I mean, you're just a, you know, a, a nicely dressed person. This is going fucking horribly. <laughs> What I do is slang the coffee beans. <laughs> Two and oh, bitch, I was born for this. I'm a bikini barista. Love that. So I basically look sexy mm -hmm. and make coffee. Oh, a bikini barista. I, okay. That doesn't classify as, I'm still two and all, right? That doesn't classify as sex work. No, no. Do you like your work? Yes, I do. There's a little bit of stuff that, you know, you deal with on a daily basis as sex workers. All right, so she considers herself a sex worker. I am now thoroughly confused. I'm, I still feel like I'm 2-0 and because I wouldn't have classified it as that. I mean, you're just slanging coffee in a little bit less clothes. It's not like you're finishing off old dudes or something, you know? Sometimes guys will come up unannounced to the stand with their little wieners out. <laughs> and I'm Classic like, what? Guys, give right? me $100 right now and then they'll give it to me. And then, you know, I still give them a coffee. <laughs> Okay, I have Jeremy, tall mocha frappuccino with two shot. The fuck, Jeremy? Yeah, thanks for the coffee. You like that? That is not okay, Jeremy. You know what? Give me a hundred bucks right now, you pervert. Okay, here you go. Thanks, boo. Enjoy your coffee. Howdy. Howdy. Hi, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Cool boots. Thank you. This guy's Acid got some... Wash with a Euro cut. Some style. Italian. Italian specificity. Whoa. Are they having a boot style off right now? I like it. Does your profession rely on touch? Yes. I think that you, like, are packing so well today. 
I'm trying to figure out if they're slanging it or if they're just like a massage therapist. He is not. That is my guess. I'm 2-0 and so far. According to my standards, I'm going with no. You have a partner. I have a partner for 14 years. 14 years? 15. Oh my God. That's older than I am. I know. Uh, what? You're what? 12? 12? 12? How, many sexual... How many sexual partners have you had? In the last year? None. What I tell you? that? Four or five hundred in the. Bleh. I don't even know how to process that information. That's a uh, that's a big number. I'm gonna say yes. I'm leaning toward no. I think I'm gonna go with massage therapist. I'm not massage therapist. What are uh -oh. you? Uh oh. I escort okay. and I do porn. You Son of a bitch! Fuck, I dropped my mic. Ah, right, I'll take the L. I'll hold the L. I got it wrong. Listen, I'm two and one by baseball standards. That's still Hall of Fame status, okay? The nice thing is called an escort, but I just call myself a whore. When you say you escort go. to me, I assume that it's like a flirty date. Somebody is... At what, what, excuse me? What? Bro, how naive can you be? Big chuckles, all right? No one's paying 5,000 bucks for a nice evening of flirting, okay? Unless that's your kink or something. Somebody is hiring me to be their boyfriend for the night. Mostly that doesn't happen. Mostly I just get hired to have sex. Hello, who are there you? you go. I'm Nat. A little more straightforward about it. Nat. Nat. Yeah. Like one of those. What's your like <laughs> movement vocabulary? <laughs> if you want to demonstrate a move, I would love to see it. Oh. Look at that move. Ooh. Okay, I'm, real I'm going with a firm no here. It's kind of ambiguous, but those moves, that reverse back roll is screaming to me that she's pretending to be a sex worker when in fact she is a librarian. I'm gonna go with that you're, uh, you do some kind of cam girl work. I do not, and I'm not a sex worker. Well, you're not. <laughs> okay. I'm a pole dance instructor. Ooh, I love this distinction, the nuance. What kind of people do you normally teach classes to? Everyone. A lot of people come in, different ages, men, women, all the genders. Do you have any like grandmas in there? Yeah, I've had I've had uh, grandparents. She's an honorary. Grandma, what are you doing? Don't let little Johnny see you out there. Good lord. No, God, please, no, no. Hello. Hey. I'm Natalie. So, uh, do you have any um, high school degree? Any college? Yeah, I have my master's in communications. Do you like what you do? I like the money. This one's tough. Do your family know what you do for a living? Um, partially. Are you close with your family? Oh yeah, we're super close. Uh I'm going with yes. I think that the, the cut is classic at like trying to throw you a curveball. It's like, oh, I have a master in communications and you have this boozy job. Now she probably cams from home. I think yes, you are a sex worker. My man. I don't think she's a sex worker. Wrong. I'm gonna say that you're somewhere in the vein of OnlyFans or cam go work. Love the OnlyFans guest there. I think these days, just from what I see on Twitter, you got like a 50-50 chance of being right, quite honestly. I used to be a stripper Great. when I was younger, and then I do OnlyFans now. You have to deal with like a lot of like um, customers. God, do I love being right. Can you feel that? <laughs> this house is clear. Do you do uh, cam to cam? Um, yeah. What do you mean cam to cam? What does that mean, Craig? <laughs> Craig is a experienced peer-to-peer cam-to-cam user, apparently. apparently. Craig's over here chatting up all the technical shit, like, are you setting up appropriate tip goals or doing pay per minute, or are you just more into the private shows? You about to get caught in 4K, Craig. What do you mean cam-to-cam? What does that mean, Craig? <laughs> no, I mean, it's my fault. That's that's on me. Shouldn't have shut, I should have kept my mouth shut. Have you ever, like, paid for a cam video or face-to-face? -face Be honest, Craig. Yes. That a boy. That a boy. Yes. Yes, I have. Why did you do it? <laughs> because strip clubs are closed. Has your experience changed Fair the enough, way Craig. you look at men? I've always hated men. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sims, it's tough to hear the truth sometimes, but that girl whose BMW you paid for over the last year and a half of donations probably hates your guts. But hey, I'm a live and let live kind of guy, right? So if it makes you feel good to spend $300 to get some girl to write your name on her ass cheek in a Sharpie, go get him, Papa. Hi. I like your sweatshirt. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Crop top, I'm all about a crop top. I like crop top because it, like, it shows like a good, like a, just a tiny little bit of stomach. Yeah, and, just like, a little peak. Just a little peak. Can I ask how old you are? I am 19. This girl seems wildly nervous right now. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm like, I'm shooting almost 100 here. Uh, I'm going with, I'm going with no. God, don't fuck it up, Leon. Is she or isn't she?
Yeah, yep, yep, she is. I'm going with yes. I'm going with yes. What are you passionate about? I'm really passionate about um, anime. Anime. <laughs> Being from Japan, have you ever felt like men kind of sexualize you based on that? I would say yes. And also the fact that like my voice is a little bit higher. They're like, oh my god, you're just like one of the girls from my anime. Does that bother you? I'm just so fed up with it. I'm like, I- Creepy, but checks out. Men are weird as shit. I'm not gonna use voice chat ever. Again. <laughs> this is one of those ones where I'm going against my better judgment. I'm gonna say you're not a sex worker. I'm gonna just <laughs> go. <laughs> I mean, Craig's like, yeah, I mean, you check all the boxes. I'm just gonna go against my better judgment and say no for the hell of it. I'm gonna just go bold and say like, yes, you are a sex worker. You're right, I am a sex worker. Yeah. <laughs> but what I do, I don't actually participate in it. I'm actually a rigger. What is that? The hell is that? I tie people up. Oh, okay, all right. Of course, oh, cool. of course. Can I ask you? Any, of course you're into anime and then you do some weird shit like that. It all checks out. Who the hell is calling me? Can I ask you how you got into that? 4chan My probably? My friend has an OnlyFans uh, and I was like, I know how to tie people up. She does. And then I asked her like, hey, can I tie you up for like your OnlyFans to kind of spice up like what you do? <laughs> and she was like, sure. And I tied her up. It still begs the question, why do you know how to tie people up so well? It doesn't seem like a skill that just would come naturally. I like your sweater, Melly. Thank you. It looks cozy. It is. is this how you normally dress? Yes. Do you dress differently for work? Yes. What can you see me doing? Honest to God. I'm going with no. I'm placing her in some sort of high-level medical job somewhere. Like the first thing that popped in my mind is your dominatrix. Because you're like Whoa, very confident. That's aggressive. Like I would normally be a guy that you'd beat the shit out of. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is a seasoned individual when it comes to the sex work industry. Do you have a lot of sex? No. No. Like no. big dicks? Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh. Are you a mom? No. Then she is definitely a sex worker. Why? She dresses like a mom, which means she's probably tired of being sexualized. What do you do? I'm a stripper. Really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Turn around. Listen, you can't win them all, Leon, but you miss every shot you don't take, all right? You're still over 50%, all right? It's a it's a bang-up job so far. Have some confidence in yourself. Fuck, idiot! When you go into it, you come huh. out a completely different person. Yeah. Like, I never used you to walk say. up to strangers and be like, Hi, how are you? Would you like a lap dance? But you do now? I love the confidence. I do. However, if I were to walk up to a woman I didn't know and ask her if she wanted a meat spin, I would be immediately arrested. Oh! Look at this outfit. You got dressed today. Yeah. Tell me about it. I like anything that accentuates my figure because I have a nice figure. Yeah. So why not show it off? You're very well put together. You're obviously- It a is a nice dress. So you Big fan of purple and it goes well with her ungodly like ghostly skin color, which is hot these days. So used to every, you know what? Back when I was growing up, it was like everyone wanted to be tan, tan, tan. And now it's like pale is in baby. Let's go. Sun damage, skin cancer. <laughs> Casper skin with jet black hair and a purple dress. Come get some. I am thinking I'm going no. that you are a sex worker. Wrong. But I'm having a hard time pinning down like why or what realm of sex work you might do. I think she's a sex worker. She's getting she all the yeses. She feels like a sex worker. It, We're like ho vibing right now. I think you're like an OnlyFans regional manager or some shit. Her and her titty. <laughs> Go and like check out all the new talent or some shit. They probably have parties. She's probably like a CEO. I model. See, that's called being a pimp. Cool. I'm not really trying to sell sex. It's more like modeling lingerie is how I put it. So are you, you nude or not? Not technically. I don't show the goodies. What is sex work to me is defined by like how people either receive or use or that imagery. If a photo of this floated out and somebody's wanking to it every day, I would consider that like a pornographic exchange in some way? Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Have you spent a second on the internet? You're telling, okay. So that means, and I only know this because I spent a lot of time on the internet and you just see some shit, right? But there's entire websites dedicated to like ankles and foot fetishes. So you mean if someone randomly captures a photo of a girl's ankles out in public and that gets sent to some weird forum full of fucking creeps and they wank to it that that's a pornograph? No, dude. Go fuck yourself. That's absolutely absurd. Uh, this girl's not a sex worker. Yet another W for Leon Lush. I've been told by men uh, that they're 
jerking off to me and stuff. Instagram DMs can get pretty degenerate. And How does, I'm like, what does that feel like? I'm just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to be. I could be wearing this. And I'll, they're like, I love this photo. I totally did something to that. And I'm like, good for you, buddy. Guys really are just disgusting, aren't they? Do you respect people in the sex industry? 100%. Certainly everyday people, question. they have everyday problems, and they are running a business. And their business happens to be, you know, themselves. Great answer, Craig. Nailed it. Imagine if he was like, nope, not one bit. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't go over very well on the internet. You get into sex work? Would I get into sex work? No. I can barely do the work that I'm doing right now, <laughs> let alone trying to use my body to try to entice money out of people. This guy's funny, it's, it's man. It's not my bag. The more we can open up sex workers access to the tools they need for safety, part of that is internet safety, part of that is literal physical safety, the more we are destigmatizing sex work and the safer those people can be. A lovely wrap up with a great message there from the Bronx Deli. I know many of you know that this channel is basically a Christian Minecraft server, but if you've been here a while, you know that my relationship with Nigel over the years has basically been like sex work, so I can relate to what's going on in this cut video here. And if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you are also in sex work, because as you know, at the end of every video, we stand up, we drop our shorts, and we hip thrust that that motherfucking like button. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Oh.